Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. California Carter coming at you with some content. Currently, I'm listening to the live Michael Cohen uh, testimony before the House Oversight Committee. And it's been not necessarily the most interesting, but I definitely understand the sort of war between the Democrats and Republicans about the the image this could be setting right before the lead up to uh, the 2020 campaign cycle, right? And I think it's important to pay attention to a few things here. If we're going to be watching uh, events unfold through strictly political optics, right, not looking at it from a a multifaceted angle, I think we're going to lose an an opportunity. If we're just going to look at this as just political and no other implications, we're going to miss a lot. Okay, and I think what we have to do is not get caught up in the subsequent media coverage, right? The subsequent narratives that are going to come for this. I would be remiss if all we're doing is talking about what the media talks about. We don't want to get too lost in parroting their narratives or debunking them all together. We have to sort of choose our battles, which ones are going to be more beneficial for our cause and which ones are intentional distraction so if we're just you know talking about uh, every inconsistency the media is perpetuating uh, we're no different than those who are lost in the strictly political paradigm you know the left and the right you know combating each other we might as well be having the same arguments they are uh, we what we should be doing is was pointing out the the flaws and the nefarious underpinnings when they are there when they're evident and when they can be articulated and expressed readily sort of like the smollet thing it was it was a, a prime example of how you can segue into a conversation with somebody uh, about how these narratives and how these campaigns are facilitated okay but that's a different story you can uh, but i definitely understand from the republican and democrat side why the democrats would want to make sure they are implicating trump in, in a bad light got him legally to sort of be able to paint a scenario where trump could potentially be you know taken out of power that's just something that this can could snowball into and i I think that's probably the ideal (laughs) you know nobody i don't think and many people would argue that that's not the ideal uh, scenario for the democrats who oppose trump right while the republicans wouldn't want you know mr cohen here to be telling the truth about Mr. Trump because they don't want him implicated, right? So, I mean, I I definitely understand the war that's going on, and I I don't want people to get lost in that. I don't want that to become the topic people talking about, well, this could hurt Trump in 2020, right? I mean, I think that is uh, what they would like us to be caught up in rather than saying, well, I think it's instances like this where we can sort of just glean what we can from this, you know, take the good and, and spit out the bad. Because I don't know what the greater implications are for this when if we're if we're looking at something like on the geopolitical scale, uh, what's happening with in Syria, you know, Libya, uh, Venezuela, the potential war that could break out there and in Central America and drag other, you know, South American countries into it. That is something we should be looking at and something we should be talking about, because by the time the government's making the decision on those things, uh, the public won't necessarily have the cognition to make an informed decision if it comes down to us declaring that we're going to, you know, assist or aid in some war where we could just be contributing to more bloodshed. Okay, because it seems when the when the United States gets involved in these foreign affairs, there's, you know, fire and bloodshed and death and bombing and terrorism. There's all this stuff. Right. And there are many people who don't want the West to be involved in this there are plenty who say that they already are okay but things could deteriorate and i don't think that is in the public consciousness yet i don't think people are talking about that uh they're too wrapped up in you know the wall and and cohen and and all this other stuff that's going on they're not thinking about the implications of the, the sort of storm that's brewing right now and it's right in people's face and without that conversation being had by the time it's by the time they're you know here to make some decisions Uh, People will be woefully unprepared and uh, they won't know what narrative or um, what initiative to go behind. And they'll just follow the lead of of, of the media when they want to program the people. It's funny how often the the left and right comes together. The the left and right paradigm, they come together to demonize people who question the narrative of 9-11, right? Um, These are the conspiracy theorists. They, They come together on these types of things, but then they start to debate about others. Okay, so when they come together to demonize a certain group of people, I think those are the news stories and things we should be paying attention to because I think they're trying to keep things covered up. Well, those are just some of the things we need to be paying attention to. Again, this is review for a lot of people, but what I'm trying to do here is introduce these sort of nefarious underpinnings to somebody who may be new to this stuff and they can take this and investigate it because this is a far-reaching type deal here where we're talking about something that touches a lot of people even if you're not political okay politics touches you all right and 
Uh, that's that's just the reality of the situation and being informed about it simply makes you able uh, to make better choices okay what are you going to uh, what are you going to back what aren't you going to back what are you going to tell others that they should be backing if you aren't going to be you know going out there and taking initiative to vote or um, campaign against something anyway that's enough for me I think I'm gonna come out with an episode where I'm gonna do another freestanding thing like this um, I'm gonna get back to get back to work take care of yourselves out there thanks for stopping by